Hi everyone, uh, I am going to show you today how to digitally sign a PDF document and uh, explain to you uh, some of the benefits of digitally signing a document. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll just present my screen and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the process. Now, uh, what I've done is I have uh, opened Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, which means Document Cloud. And what I've done is I have scrolled to um, a cluster A assessment task that uh, my year tens are currently doing, or some are done and some are finishing. So um, if your document is not in PDF, you cannot uh, currently digitally sign it, so you will need to turn it into a PDF. So what you would do is you just go file open and then you would open um, a Word document in this and then you would save it as a PDF. And then when you open it like this, you can then sign it. So uh, I'm just going to scroll down to uh, the section where the students have to sign it. And here it is right here. So um, you can see some of the tools over on the right hand side. I'm going to burst these out. There we go. So the one I want to use is called comment. So I'm going to click on comment and you get an extra toolbar across the um, underneath the top toolbar about comment. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, insert a digital stamp. So if you have a look in the middle, there is a little stamping tool and you just click that and you scroll down to the dynamic stamp. And what a dynamic stamp is, a stamp that changes with your details. And they are unique to you, the login, the person that has logged in. So I'm gonna click um, received, that they've received it. Don't worry about this, you don't need that bit. But here you can see my stamp is uh, ready to be placed. Now I'm gonna place it over the signature I'm going to be the student over the signature and over the date because my stamp has both. So I'm going to put it right there. So there is my stamp that I've received this. I received it on this date at this time by me, R. Johnson 25. Now, the reason that the student signature works here is because, of course, there is only one R. Johnson 25 in the department. It'll be the same for the students. The students will have their username right there. So you will know that it will be them that's, um, that's actually received your document. And the same thing can happen um, down the bottom of the screen where there is a marking guide. And I'll go down to the marking guide. So here is a student signature. So they'll put their student signature and their date there. But what they can do there, of course, is they can go um, approved. So we're going to put it there, approved. So yes, they've approved that because they're getting this back, their feedback, and they're having a look and say, yes, that's approved. That's what I did. Now you as the teacher can also use this with your signature by using the same thing. So dynamic, you've reviewed it and put your review straight in the middle over the tape. There it is there, done. And then you just save the document. So you go file, save, save or save as, cause you're gonna do multiples of these, file, save as, choose to where it's gotta get saved and then send it to the student or the student sends it to you to be uploaded. Okay. So um, that's the easy way to create a digital signature using Adobe Acrobat uh, Pro Document Cloud. Um, thanks for watching.